this is this has come a, a, a big shock to all of us, everyone who knew her, worked mm -hmm. with her, um, uh, but but a big blow to the street because it's it, a family. It is, and it's not just the street; it's everybody, everybody today, everybody on the buses, on the tubes, all the crew here. Everyone's going. I think it's we all feel it. It's like family. I mean, that's what makes a true soap icon. I think it's because whether you met her or knew her or not, she's been there and part of the street for forever mm. it seems like we've we've grown up with her um i remember talking to my grandparents about her about the storylines about my parents with her and it really feels it feels like we've lost a family member mm. it's just she's, she's been in our homes yes. hasn't she every evening exactly you feel like yeah. you know her but she was such a special actress and when you gosh you just remember the, the huge storylines over the years there just having watched that piece i mean she was she was special to watch wasn't she Cheryl? well it's interesting a lot of the the writers last night were on um, facebook were, were talking about it and they're saying the brilliant thing about it is that you could throw anything as you saw there whether it was comedy or if it was tragedy you know when she cries she really cries mm. but she could also do comedy brilliantly she remember her one-liners you know that a, a true soap icon is not only the fantastic storylines that you can remember the the love triangles but also you could go you know stuff marrow you know exactly who i'm talking to the chain belt everything it's just it, it just she had made that character into a true soap icon and it just really it's very it's a very strange feeling everyone just feels like we're we're all mourning her. I know mm. that there's so um, everyone at the street today. They've stood down on filming. Nobody's mm. going to be working today, um, and everyone's just a bit numb with it, really, aren't we? When was her last scene? Well, it was about three months ago, and she went. Uh, she had some holiday scheduled. She um, took what was going to be a three-month break, and in the um, on the on screen, it was all the time of the um, the trial with Peter Barlow. So the story that they they had was that she was stressed. She didn't want to be talking to him in prison, and she went off to stay um, with her best mate Bev. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, this, is, uh, this is when she threw the, threw the jelly at the wall, wasn't it? Because there's lots of people yes. today mm -hmm. saying that uh, amongst their favourite bits, actually, and certainly recent memories, uh, Lee Ann uh, Buncombe says, uh, I loved her meltdown with the jelly. Jelly should wobble, and she threw it against the wall. I laughed and shouted, go, girl. I felt like doing that on many <laughs> occasions. Um, let's, uh, let's have a look at that. Yes, it does. Jelly shouldn't run. It should wobble. <laughs> <laughs> Deirdre! Oh, well, thanks for that. Don't blame her. I'll go. Um, if that you... was what was so lovely, because she could do all those scenes with Ken. Ken on his laptop doing something really boring, her with a really cutting remark. You know, she, she could make a scene about a jelly, as not said, but it's not. It's a woman who's, you know, whose family is all in disarray and breaking down around her, so she can just turn that scene into something really beautiful. Well, That's Kieran brilliant. Roberts, the executive producer, said there are no words to describe the sense of grief we feel at Anne's passing. We know only too acutely how much Anne meant to the millions of people who watched her create the legendary character of Deirdre Barlow. She'll be greatly missed by the Coronation Street team who share happy memories of working with her. We feel blessed and honoured to have known her. Our thoughts are with David and her family. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, you've been mentioning the word icon. It, it takes quite a bit in the soap world to become an icon, doesn't it? Well, it's, um, it's 1972 she started, so we've loved her from that day. Yes, I think we, we bandy that word around a lot, but I think you just have to look at the reaction of everyone today to go, you know, it's Anne, it's, it's Deirdre, and that is the mark of a, a true icon, the fact that we all feel sort of, oh, no. What do you yes. think, Deirdre? I think it's about time somebody bought me another drink. Oh, that's what I like about her. Dead subtle, you know. You have to watch her, you know. Oh, you can watch me any time you like. I've always had a fatal weakness for men with curly hair. Oh, she's <laughs> off, she's <laughs> off, she's off. <laughs>